This demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock software and accompanying plugins. It is not a recommendation to buy or sell exchange traded instruments, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Thomson Reuters shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. Jeff, thank you very much for the introduction. I appreciate that. And there's a few things I like about you, and a few things I like about Metastock, actually, just a lot more than a few. First of all, uh, wherever you are in the world, uh, thank you for being here, and greetings from uh, cold and chilly Santa Cruz, California, where I uh, live. Uh, to let you know, and I do see quite a few names I recognize here, to let you know I am a real trader. I make real trades with real money and make real money in the markets. Uh, that is what I do. Uh, I do many other things, among which uh, having written 42 books, having given about 600, 700 seminars all over the world. Uh, so possibly after my 40 plus years of trading, there are some things that um, I can teach you, maybe things that um, you will benefit from. So first, let me make sure that the sound is okay. I hope everyone can hear me fine. Is that okay? Okay, good. All right, very good. Okay, so look, the bottom line is this. I know a lot about trading. I know a lot about what to do. I know a whole lot more about what not to do. You can have some of the greatest tools in the world, such as those tools provided on Metastock, but if you don't know how to use them, it's going to be like driving a fast car. If you don't know how to drive it, you're going to kill yourself. The bottom line is very, very simple. Um, the bottom line is very simple. You need to have structure. What I want to do present you, what I want to present you with today is very simple, very straightforward. I want to show you some of my methods. Indeed, in the course of one hour or less, I can't cover it all, but I can give you some ideas. For those of you who are familiar with my work, uh, possibly the repetition will do you good. If you're not familiar with my work, I will do the best I can to give you the information. In addition to that, there's a lot of information that you can get by looking at my other work, my webinars, my seminars, and so forth. And the Metastock plugin, which has most of my indicators as well as expert commentary. And Jeff, please uh, jump in at any time if um, I'm not accurate on something I say. First and foremost, the goals. I'm going to give you an idea of what's available uh, in terms of the indicators that I use on Metastock. I'm going to show you exactly how to use them. I'm going to cover what I call the setup trigger follow through structure or model. If you don't have a structure within which you're trading, nothing is going to work for you in the long run. In the short run, you may think that everything's good, but in the long run, you're going to give it all back plus more. So the indicators, very straightforward. Uh, as I said, I've been trading for a long time. I know what I'm doing. I've mentored hundreds of traders all over the world who use my methods. And many of them use them very successfully because the methods are 100% objective, by which I mean there is no interpretation. I'm going to tell you this right now if you don't already know it. If you don't already know it and you haven't learned it, if you need to interpret anything, unless you're psychic, Unless you're really good at interpretation, which to me means perception, it's not going to work for you. That's why, no offense intended, uh, I really don't give much credence to interpretive methods, by which I mean, if you have to disagree with someone about where a trend line goes, if you have to interpret the ABC correction of the fourth wave of the fifth wave and six people are looking at the same information, and getting five different answers, believe me, it's no good. Uh, so whether it's GAN or Elliot or anything that requires interpretation, I have a problem with it, which is not to say that there aren't people out there who are really good at being artists, but I'm not an artist. I'm a trader. So um, I've written uh, since 1982 about 42 books. I've been on CNBC, Wall Street Week. I've been published in many magazines and articles and so forth, but forget about that. Let's just take a look to, at the stuff and let's get on with it. So first of all, why do so many traders lose money? It's very simple, because of interpretation. What does it take to win? It takes structure. People talk about a lack of discipline. People say, you know, you can't make money if you don't have discipline. 
So where are you going to get discipline? Are you going to get it from the internet? If you punch up on the internet day trading or forex or position trading or trading systems, you're literally going to get one million hits and they will all confuse the hell out of you. So the bottom line is really simple. Discipline comes from structure. Structure means you're fitting everything into an objective methodology. If you have an objective methodology, your methodology will make money for you. Certainly not all the time. If your methodology makes money, you'll have discipline. If you have discipline, you'll get more money because you have confidence. If you use a method and it doesn't work, and you have confidence in that method, you have a problem. You need to see a shrink. If, however, you have a method that's not working and you don't have discipline because of that, hey, that's perfectly normal. So let's go forward and let's talk a little bit about what I mean. I'm going to give you some very specific examples. You can review this information here a little bit later on, by which I mean the reasons that traders lose, the reason traders fail. They don't have a plan, they don't have a procedure, they don't have a trading model, they don't have enough money, they overtrade, too many inputs, too much information, lack of organization, they take small profits, and the losses grow big until their losses get air on them. So the bottom line is any or all of these in combination, and I realize that no one here at the webinar today is guilty of any of these, but if, in, if you are, just in case you are, Take this seriously because any of these or some of these in combination will undo you and lead to losses. Okay, so look, everything I do is 100% objective. I do not interpret. I don't use words such as looks like. I don't use words such as might be, could be. I don't use words such as my I, my interpretation or my opinion. I don't have opinions. I just have methods. The methods are clear. I don't look at perception. Um, everything I do becomes very easy now because there is no interpretation. So we're going to take a look at my trading model and see how my plugins fit into that model. So let me go to the next chart, to the next slide. I use setup, trigger, and follow through. Set up trigger and follow through, very easy. Basically what it amounts to is every trade I make needs to have a setup, which is a pattern. I'm going to give you some examples of patterns. Okay. Every trade that has a setup has to have a trigger. The trigger increases the odds that the, tra that the setup is going to work. Once you have a trigger, you have to have follow through. Follow through consists of two things, stop loss, which almost everyone's familiar with, but the part that most people are not familiar with, follow through in the sense of profit maximizing strategy. Hey, look, I've been doing this for a long time. I can tell you 80 to 90% of your money is going to be made on 10 to 20% of your trades. The rest of those trades are going to wash. You have a lot of small profits, a lot of small losses, a few bigger profits, a few, a few bigger profits, a few bigger losses that balance each other off. You pay commission, the cost of doing business, you pay for your meta stock, you pay for your quotes. It's the big trades that count. So if you can't get the big trades because you're always jumping out of the small trades and you think you're pretty good because you've gotten 15 profitable little trades in a row, the 16th trade is going to take it all back from you and more. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Hopefully you will never learn what I'm talking about because you're that good. So the fate of the typical trader, they lose more when they're losing than they make when they're making. They may have high accuracy, but high accuracy does not translate in to profits. Let me give you some examples of what I call setups. Setups. Setups are price patterns such as support and resistance, cycles, Relationships between open, high, low, and close. Monthly, weekly, and daily seasonal trades. Key date seasonals, by which I mean buying on certain dates, selling on certain dates with high probability. I'm going to give you some examples. So we're going to take a look at an example, the Swiss franc. And I'm an equal opportunity trader.